Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at a, a ring, which I always for some reason pronounce wrong. Uh, I always thought it was Wisp Protector, but it's actually Wisp Projector. Um, and, uh, and I have no idea why I always thought it was Wisp Protector, but uh, but maybe it's just because that J on the, on the Protect and the Project um, doesn't really quite look right. But I guess uh, I guess it is a J because when I look it up, it does in fact say that it is projector, not protector. Now the Wisp Protector is a pretty amazing little ring, and uh, and as we go across this ring, you'll probably agree with me. Um, so right off the bat, you'll see that it is level 76, so it is a relatively high level ring, something that you're probably not going to use, you know, <laughs> very early on in the game. Um, we do have a 10% chance to cast level 16 lightning on a striking, uh, which is a rather large amount of lightning. Uh, level 16 is really high. And, uh, and although level 16 lightning on a non-sorceress only does 1 to 207, um, you can actually synergize this with uh, sorceress's abilities. So if you were to make some sort of like melee sorceress who uh, has lightning synergies, um, you could potentially utilize this in a melee way to, you know, fire forth rather powerful lightning attacks. But for those non-lightning uh, or non-sorceress characters, um, it is only going to be the level 16 lightning, which is about 1 to 200, so about an average of 100 damage per lightning proc. Now, at a 10% chance, it's going to proc pretty often, so you're going to get that 100 lightning damage pretty often. Uh, we do have a 20% lightning absorption, which is amazing. And, uh, and that 20% lightning absorption... Um, is a variable, unfortunately, uh, which does mean that it is uh, between, I believe it's 10% to 20%. So, um, so when you find this ring, there is a very good chance it can be in not the greatest shape. Um, and there are other variables as well as we go forward. Uh, we also have 20% better chance of magic items, which is a variable of 10 to 20%. Again, they, uh, they're teasing us. Um, now, having magic find on a ring like this is absolutely amazing. Is it the highest magic find that you can possibly have on a ring? No. But it is magic find on a ring that is more than just magic find. A lot of the times when you have an item with magic find on it, it's all that it does. It doesn't do anything else. It doesn't help your character. It doesn't give you damage. It doesn't do hardly anything. And, uh, and there are very few items in the game that are exceptionally good and also give you nice magic find. Like, for instance, a Harlequin Quest sh Crest Shaka. Uh, the Wisp Projector is definitely one of these because not only does it give you 20% better chance of magic items, but it also gives you 20% lightning absorb, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, we also get some other interesting effects over here, like uh, level 7 Spirit of the Barbs, level 5 Heart of the Wolverine, and level 2 Oak Sage. Now these are all little spirits, and these little spirits can be summoned uh, to help you out on your way. So if we were to uh, summon these spirits, um, I do believe some of them work and some of them don't, but, uh, but we will test them right now. So uh, first off, let's start out with Oak Sage. Oak Sage is the one that increases your life, um, and uh, since I'm on a Barbarian, let's go ahead and beef ourselves up, and as you can see, now I'm rocking 2,628 life, uh, because the Oak Sage is giving me 35%, and I'm also getting a nice bonus from my uh, Battle Orders. Now, uh, we can also summon forth the uh, Heart of the Wolverine, uh, which is the attack speed, and... Uh, damage uh, sorry attack attack rating and damage um he will have a 25 yard radius and as you can see it's uh, 53 percent attack rating 48 percent damage um and uh, as long as he is alive we get that nice little bonus and then we can also summon forth the spirit of the barbs which is the um the thorns version and the thorns version gives us a 110 percent damage returned now in diablo to Resurrected Patch 2.4, they have promised to uh, do several things to the Druid Spirits. Uh, no, namely, um, they have talked about making them uh, serve more survivable, which means that um, 
they will no longer be so easy to kill in Hell and Nightmare difficulty. Um, they also talked about um, increasing the thorns and making it more viable. So the thorns, uh, Spirit of the Barbs version, might actually be more useful. Um, could be something that could be very useful on a, uh, a necromancer, for instance, who has summons uh, because Spirit of the Barbs can give all of your mercenary or your, your army uh, thorns, which even though thorns may not be the best thing in the world, if they improve it a little bit, um, having that thorns as an extra effect on your army can certainly be nice, especially when you're getting it for, potentially for free, just simply for having it on a ring. Um, now, of course, if you take the ring off, you will no longer be able to have the, uh, the barbs. So I'll show you that in a second. But uh, this is the repair cost for one charge off of each type and they see about 30k so it looks like about 10k per charge uh, but if you do take the ring off unfortunately bye bye goes your spirit um, which is not nice that's not nice at all so what do we have here we have um, a very interesting package of absorption for lightning which is defensive magic find which only really helps you find items uh, a proc on striking which is only going to help you if you actually attack things uh, striking means you actually have to hit the target which means that uh, it's going to be like a, a druid a barbarian a zeal paladin you know etc and um, and they gave a myriad of little spirits that can all be useful um, you know, if you were a summon necromancer, you could use the Spirit of the Barbs or the Heart of the Wolverine or the Oak Sage. Um, if you were a sorceress, you could use the Oak Sage. If you were a barbarian, you could use the Heart of the Wolverine, the Oak Sage, or the Spirit of the Barbs. I mean, it really just kind of depends on what mood you're in. And there's enough charges of each that, honestly, you should be able to keep it alive for quite some time. And, uh, and because you can't use this until level, level 76, usually by the time you hit level 76, your gold problems are gone. On. You figured out a way to farm gold effectively. You usually have a very nice magic find character, and that magic find character is just slurping in the gold. You know, he's going into council. He's getting like twenty, thirty thousand gold per council member, and uh, and he's doing just fine on on these. So in two point four, we'll have to test this and see if the spirits have really been uh, you know beefed up enough to be viable. But um, but I can totally see using these spirits to help beef up armies, especially, and uh, and, and definitely a very very nice uh, ring all around. Is it going to fit into every single build? Maybe not, but uh, but I would rather prefer to use this as a magic find character over this. Um, and granted, the Nagel ring has its place and has its day. It's a level 7 magic find ring, and it has a very nice amount of magic find. More than the Wisp Projector. But if I'm in a high level situation, farming hell difficulty, I would rather have the 20% lightning absorb. I would rather have the little spirits than the basically nothing that Nagel Rain offers me. Now, where can you find a Wisp Projector? Uh, Wisp Projector is a relatively high-level ring, so let's uh, look up Wisp Projector on the uh, website. We're going to be using Silo Spen. Silo Spen is, uh, is really nice to use specifically for this kind of thing, and um, you can type in exactly what item you're looking for. You can go to bosses. Uh, we're going to say it's about 150% magic find, and then uh, I'm going to sort by probability, and uh, it looks like to me the highest possible chance to get this is Bale in Hell Difficulty, uh, with the second is Diablo in Hell Difficulty, and then the third being Mephisto in Hell Difficulty. Um, really not a lot of other good options there. Uh, and then as for Super Uniques, there is a very high probability, uh, well no, sorry, that's actually pretty crappy, but uh, Neil Attack has a pretty good chance of dropping it. Um, and and uh, Hephaesto, the armorer, has a decent chance, but he's about twice what Neelithak is. And then the Cow King has uh, four times uh, the chance uh, in, in, in terribleness um, to drop it as Neelithak does. So eh, not the greatest there. Uh, let's take a look at regular monsters and kind of uh, get an idea by area. So I'm seeing a lot of Worldstone Keep. I'm seeing a lot of uh, Throne of Destruction. Um, I'm seeing a decent amount of River of Flame and um, a lot of Forgotten Temple, Ruined Fane, Disused Reliquary. 
Uh, basically, areas where the um, in Act Three where there's the little temples um, in the pit. There's quite a few monsters in the pit that have a chance to drop this. Um, so you know, it's, it's interesting little zones. And of course, um, dropping from regular monsters is a lot more rare than dropping from like Bale or Diablo. So keep that in mind. Um, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And uh, and if you're looking for a Wisp projector, I hope you find one. Um, it is a nice little ring. I think I'm actually still looking for one for myself on my Necromancer uh, because I'm trying to move away from, uh, from Nagels at this point. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And uh, keep watching.